Hello everyone, this is the Prussian Prince with a pre-release let's play of Stellaris. Synthetic Dawn, the new story pack DLC for Stellaris by Paradox Development Studio. So, obviously this is a story pack about machines, robots, whatever you want to call them. So we're going to be playing a robot empire. And what's new in this DLC? Well, let's take a look. First of all, Obviously, we got a lot of new portraits. This is one of them. Uh, we have new name lists as well for uh, machine ships, planets, leaders, and stuff. So, that is pretty cool. And the next thing is we have some traits here. Some new traits for machines. So, you see, since we are machine, this gives us 200%. Habitability, 100% leader recruitment cost. So that's pretty good. It means this machine we can just basically get to any planet that we need. Um, there's a lot of different traits here, like efficient processors, super conductive, double jointed. We can't pick it because we have bulky, which is fine. Enhanced memory, pretty good for extra leader level cap. But I mean, it's not the best. Uh, buff. Emotion emulators. Pretty interesting. This might work with uh, some strategies. Durable. Pretty good. Consumer go uh, goods cost reduction. High maintenance. Not sure about this. I, I don't like high maintenance. Like I don't think it's an efficient uh, trait. If you're going for efficiency, of course. If you're going for uh, roleplay, entirely different sc uh, scenario. Purposed hardware, it's okay, but honestly, I think uncanny and bulky are probably better. Mass produced. Mm, belt speed is not too big of a deal. The learning algorithm is okay. Custom made. Oh yeah, that was the build speed. This this is okay. That debuff is actually quite fine. Recycled is mm, so right luxurious. That might not be bad, actually. Yeah, sure, robots cost more, and in the early game it's painful, but then later on it's gonna be more than fine. Now, my absolute favorites, though, I do like Super Conductive, and of course, Power Drills and Logic Engines, which I have here. Power Drills is more minerals, Logic Engines is more output, but... Yeah, like, that's basically what I like here. I mean, theoretically, if we do go for uh, Luxurious, which Luxurious, which could be okay, we could get another uh, one that costs two, like, uh, well, this one is not too useful, but we could get, oh, really? There's not another one that costs two that's cool, like Logic Engines? I guess not, so there's really nothing else that's, like, that useful that we could get. But anyway, this is, like, some uh, cool robot the new robot traits and stuff. Ruler again. Central processing unit is a ruler title. Pretty good. Um, now, of course, some um, more changes. Government and ethics. So, you go Gestalt Consciousness, which you pretty much have to. Then you can choose Machine Intelligence. It's pretty darn cool, like, if you don't have the Gestalt con Consciousness, like, you cannot actually pick, you see? It doesn't let you pick machines, so there you go. Now, there is hive mind, which is okay, like, but we want to go machine intelligence. That's what we're here for. So for the rest of our, uh, how should I put it? For the rest of our ethics, we've got rock breakers and introspective. I do like rock breakers because it's more empire minerals production, which should stack pretty nicely with power drills, so more minerals, I like it. Introspective is okay because it gives us more engineering, which could be very, very helpful to get like better robots and stuff, so I'm gonna go for that. Constructor bot is okay. There's a lot of stuff here that's pretty decent. Thermal exterminator. This is... Essentially, the uh, fanatic purifiers of uh, machines. Uh, then we have driven assimilator, which is pretty okay. Like you don't, basically, you 
people become cyborgs and you can uh, um, they're not enslaved but basically you just uh, you assimilate them so you, you coexist with them and stuff so it's pretty okay then you do have factory overclocking there was another one, there was a third one, okay. In fact, uh, besides, these two are pretty important, by the way, but there was another one that's like these uh, two that heavily influences the way you play your machines. Factory overclocking is okay, OD updates, eh. Not too good, yeah, oh yeah, Rogue Servitor, okay, so this one is like... This is pretty crazy. Because look, look at the bonuses it may give, so I am quite curious. So, uh, yeah, I, I would uh, I would like to see how this plays out, but that's not what I want to go for right now. Warbots, okay, that's pretty interesting. But yeah, Rock Breakers and Introspective, that's my build right now. I mean, do boost the reach of search speed because it's pretty nice. Now again, more new things here. You can see different you see voices. Have you system dying? System but of course, we're gonna go machine intelligence, because that's what we are. Again, we are the Decron Sentience. Our flag, I just chose something like this. It's, it's pretty cool, we went projectiles, hyperspace travel, because I like hyperspace. And of course, we decided to go mammalian ships. Now, let's go back, and then let's go select, and uh, let's see, what do we want to choose here? Um, no advanced AI starts, two fallen empires, that sounds pretty good to me. Only hyperdrive, which is, like, the most fun, honestly. Like, forcing it on hyperdrive is pretty good. Oh, use Iron Man mode. Clusters, everything looks okay here. I'm quite happy with the, with the settings, so let's just hit play after, like, Eight minutes of just like sitting around looking at stuff. We're finally gonna be able to play! Hooray! Alright, so what do we have going here? I'm gonna read this uh, filler stuff, uh, fluff stuff here, because uh, it could be pretty interesting, but I'm not gonna read it out. However, let's uh, get going. So, first things first. We don't want to reform our government, but could be pretty useful later on and we do not want to do that however we do want to change the research so what we're gonna go for here is oh yes extra research speed I love it mm, let's go for the bio lab here let's go for improved server motors because you know what extra minerals and stuff I like it again <laughs> now the next thing that we want to go for is uh, Let's take a look at the edicts, not edicts, but policies. Unrestricted war is pretty good. Food stockpiling, none. We do want to go for full uh, orbital bombardment. Peaceful is okay. We want to close borders. No grants, that's fine. Ship designer, Corvette. Well, I'm not gonna touch this right now, that's okay. But what I'm gonna do though, I'm gonna immediately start building another science ship because we want another science ship. I'm gonna select these two here. There we go, we have split it up in uh, as many corvettes as we want and this is gonna be quite interesting now. Okay, so I'm gonna survey this system. And now where is the science ship? Where's the construction ship? There it is, follow the science ship and then like we just wanna build when we find minerals, when the science ship finds minerals that is so. Pretty good thing to do. Now again, uh, I do not want to set this as a rally point. Yes, we will only want to rally to, or actually, you know what? Yeah, no, that's fine, that's fine. We'll rally them there. And now, of course, I want to change these guys to evasive. Oh, I can't. It must have been changed, okay. I remember at some point you could put them on evasive. Must have changed, okay. I, I, I guess the evasive stance was removed. 
I haven't played in a while, so... Yeah, okay. So now the strategy is different now. <clears throat> Alright, now what's the next thing we gotta do? Well, while we're going for that, we're gonna send one to... Let's send it up here, you know? This way. Now you guys go this way. Now you guys here, you should probably go along that way. There we go. And that should be fine, I think we got everything. Or... Yeah, we got everything. Yeah, I think this looks pretty good, so I might as well just unpause now and see what we got. Put on fast, not fastest, but fast! Let's see, where's uh... Are we gonna find anything there? I don't think so. Again here, we're getting a science ship. Our research should be looking pretty good. I mean, it's gonna take us a while, but... I do want to do all that stuff. Colony ship is so expensive. So, so, so expensive. <laughs> Construction complete. Right, so it has finished its queue, so I, I suppose we now have another science ship here, which is pretty good. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna assign a leader, which is going to be... Two years old, okay. Immortal will never die of old age. Pretty good, guys, pretty good. Yes. Now the next thing we want to do is we take this guy. We're going to survey there because that's potentially some... Uh, well, they are definitely habitable, but you know, we're just gonna... Check them out and see how good they are. Okay, so again, we have finished stuff here. Now we do want to build extra robots, but... Do we want to right now? Like, okay, there we go. So we can finally build a mining station there. And yeah, building robots might be pretty cool, but you know, they they actually cost us. So I don't want to build those robots just right Anomalous now. Surface variable detected. Okay, leave for now. That's fine. Failure is 20%, which is not really great. So yeah, I'm just going to send these guys out. You guys can actually survey over there. Let's see how our, our ship's doing. All right, they're doing quite fine, honestly. All right, let's let's continue checking more stuff. Discovery of alien life. The surveyor has made an anticipated discovery on Alpha Centauri Three. The planet is teeming with alien life forms. For the first time in history, we have encountered organic life that did not originate on Mecha's Prime. None of the alien creatures found on Alpha Centauri 3 are sapient. Newly recalibrated prognosis suggests a high prob probability of intelligent organics in the galaxy. Pretty good, we gained extra society research. And of course, we're still working on the mining station here. And then we want to work on what? Construction complete. Okay, I mean, we've built that, but... Oh, no, no, it's this one. <laughs> My bad. I'm blind. All right. Confirm the existence of lower forms of organic life outside of Mecha's Prime's biosphere. Okay. Still surveying stuff, which is pretty good. Now, how you how you guys doing here? Oh, really? Contact seems inevitable. Pretty good. Alright, so we have essentially scouted this area. Oh, we have already... Yeah, we've already looked for that, so I don't think that... Yeah, right now we should probably keep taking a look here at like, like what's happening, you know? But we still have more stuff here. Okay, these are some alien vessels, which is okay. That's okay. Can you guys please construct your stuff there? That would be amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Anomalous surface variable. Okay, we can s research that because it doesn't really do anything. So I'll do that immediately. It's going to be quite useful. Complete. Construction complete. 
I do love the new sounds as well. It's pretty awesome. All right, so we do want to build that there first. It's, again, it's pretty good. We want more pops though as well. So I do eventually want, yeah, the minerals will be problematic at some point for sure. First legion here. Yeah, you guys, I wanna, I wanna check out literally everything. They're forming candidates. Couldn't care more, couldn't care less about it. How, how are you guys doing? System survey okay. complete. System survey complete. Have we found anything useful there? Oh, what? We have not built the mineral here. That's inefficient. Beta aliens. All right, betas. Oh, you guys are pretty hostile here. I'm okay with that. Right, so we do actually need to build a colony ship very soon, but it's very expensive even, so... It's quite annoying. Of course, we do want to save up for that, though. So. Okay, pretty good so far. I do have more of our ships uh, checking other stuff. But yeah, it looks like those are aliens that we gotta get rid of some point, soonish even. Mm -hmm. Anomalous surface variable detected. Leave for now, of course. I'm not gonna touch it. It's too rough. Okay, and then I do of course also want that. Because that one's pretty good too, so I will build that. As well. Alright, so leader has gained a level. No. Surveyor. Okay, an encounter. All right, aliens. All right. System survey complete. Oh, they're actually chasing me. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Assets engaged. No, we're dead. Rip Corvette. Unit offline. Okay, so that's we just lost one, but I mean it's not the end of the world, really. It really isn't. It sucks, but it's not the end of the world, guys. It really isn't. Okay, I'm gonna clear that because we want more minerals. And then I'm gonna go re build the research station there because I mean, it's pretty good. I am still searching with corvettes here, which is pretty good, but do I want more corvettes right now? Not really. Leave for now. That's fine. I'm okay with it. Please build things there. Just prime. Ooh, hello. I bring greetings from Emperor Hatrek I, the first. I mean, undisputed ruler of the interstellar Sibylon Empire. Respect our borders and keep out of your keep out of our affairs and perhaps our mighty fleets will refrain from visiting your worlds. Initiate greeting protocol. Yes. Right. I do like our situation. I mean, I wish we had more uh, tiles and stuff, but that's okay. So there's still plenty of stuff here that we can actually survey, and not uh, like we just want to get a, a little, uh, you know, just scout a little here. That's what we want to do essentially. But yeah, th those guys actually stopped us, so we're not gonna go back there gonna ignore that and yeah, there's a lot of stuff here that we keep that we're gonna have to keep scouting essentially yeah put on this the sector map complete. mode all right a foreign entity has decrypted our communications build the robot there Necrons, how delightful we hadn't expected to encounter you for a few centuries yet personally I thought you would wipe yourselves out long before leaving your gravity well, but I'm glad to be proven wrong. Ooh. Ooh. Appreciate reading protocol. Fallen Empire, it's... You it look some... You look pretty nice. I like your style. Alright, we still have more stuff here. System survey complete. 
Ten percent is pretty good. Let's do it. All right. So now I'm gonna. We're just gonna go scout all of that, and we have a construction ship ready here that really isn't gonna be able to do anything. Let's just put it in an orbit of X prime. We're gonna continue building robots, because I mean that is really what we do. We do want to build another robot here as well. Uplink node could be pretty good. We don't need food, so yeah, like ignore the food. That's as much as we can. This is a problem. Okay, guys, please get out of there. All right, so what we had assumed was an abnormally small gas giant is in fact not. Beneath a deceptive co cover of thick dust, swirling in the upper atmosphere lies a regular planet. A barren planet, but a planet nonetheless. It's proven quite embarrassing to the astronomical community on Mecca's Prime. Remarkable, yes. Okay, fine. Please don't kill me. Oh, we got out just in time. They were actually a little bit slow. I'm happy that they were slow. Okay, so we can actually build a mining network here. It would give us some uh, nice buffs. How much does it even cost, though? That's the question. 60 for two minerals is not too bad. But anyway, that's enough for now. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, follow me on social media. See you all next time.